In this week's muscle breakdown, I'm going to be covering a very important, very deep, very small muscle in the base of the neck, the rectus capitis posterior minor. If you have clients that are having migraines, headaches, unresolved neck pain, or their neck pain treatment just isn't holding between visits, this video is for you. What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Matt Maggio. I am the creator of the Peak Method and the founder of the Soft Tissue Revolution, where we show massage therapists a new injury treatment method that allows them to easily double their income, all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider. We're back at it for one of my favorite segments, Muscle of the Week Breakdown. And this week I'm gonna be covering a very deep muscle in the suboccipital triangle. It's called the rectus capitis posterior minor. So I'm gonna get out my model. It's gonna help give a little better idea of where this actually lives. So up here I have a model of the suboccipital triangle. This muscle is really important, it's really deep, and a lot of people have trouble actually finding it. And if you can't find it, you can't fix it either. And a lot of times they think they're on it, but they're really not. So the way that the suboccipital triangle is set up, let me get in here a little bit closer so we can see here. This one right here, this is your rectus capitis posterior major. And I've covered that in other videos. Basically where that lives, it goes from the vertebrae of the C2 up to the top of the skull. And it kind of goes at like a 45 degree angle. This one's a lot easier to find than the rectus capitis posterior minor, but it's also very involved too. And a lot of times when you're treating on rectus capitis posterior major, you're gonna be working through the trap, you're gonna be working through um, semispinalis capitis, semispinalis services, and going there. Now where the minor goes, is really deep right in through there and it goes straight up and it basically goes from the posterior arch of c1 up to the occiput i'm really big on landmarks and palpation because they really give you a better idea of how you find things so that's the beauty of how the body's set up so that c2 really pops up as you go through that so the minor is a big problem. What happens over time is with bad postures looking down, that muscle is just stretched really bad. And when it gets stretched, it doesn't get enough blood flow, it doesn't get enough oxygen. And over time, the body actually starts to lay down scar tissue. Scar tissue gets in there, makes that muscle weaker, less flexible. Then the problems that you run into is the greater occipital nerve runs through there. There's just some blood vessels up there as well. So a lot of people that are having like deep rooted migraine issues, this can be a problem. A lot of times what it'll do is it'll follow like that pattern where they're like, hey, I get like this question mark um, pain when I'm having that migraine and it goes right between my eye. And a lot of times when you palpate it and you get on it right, it can kind of reproduce that symptom in the client as well. Now, headaches are tough. Um, as you start to chase headaches, there could be a lot of other factors going in there. One thing I always look to see if it is a musculoskeletal problem is do they get neck pain before they get the headache? If they do more than likely, that is a tissue component and things that we can fix. But if they're like, hey, there's no rhyme or reason they come out of nowhere, that could be stress, diet, all sorts of stuff. Um, and you don't wanna go chasing that rabbit if it's not a soft tissue problem. Because at the end of the day, we gotta use our hands and be soft tissue practitioners. Muscles are so important because what they do is they kind of set the tone of how the head's going to move. So you have your occiput and then you have your cervical spine and it needs to be able to slide and glide on itself. What happens is when these get jammed up, your head kind of goes back like this and you can't walk around all day like that. So what your body does is it overcorrects and goes through here. So what I'm seeing a lot is a lot of clients come in with like, overworked traps, tight traps, pain in the neck, everything like that, and we continue to treat here, which is important to treat, but you have to be able to figure out why that problem's happening and what's going on in there. So this is actually getting overworked because of this. Now, what I wanna do in this week's breakdown is I wanna show you a video from one of our Peak Method um, courses where we go through an advanced palpation and really show you how to find this muscle because it's harder to find. What you have to do is find those landmarks. You gotta bow some of those muscles out of the way to get on it, but when you can get on it and you can get in there and get depth and get tension on this muscle, it's gonna make or break your neck cases and they're gonna be on a whole different level because I'm gonna be honest with you, people out there aren't treating this at all and this is a major contributor to neck pain, neck dysfunction, headaches, tension, all that stuff, and nobody's really getting in there and fixing it. They think they are, but they're not. So watch this palpation video. It'll really help to break down how to find it, and then we'll finish up. We start, a really good way to get this is we start by having the patient actually come to the edge of the table here, 
and have their head and sho their shoulders and T-spine rest right there. And what that does is it really allows this area to open up and give me access to everything like that without a lot of that tension. If we do it laying down on the table, we're gonna have to work through the trap, work through a lot of those things. So what I do to start is I bring the head back in just a little bit of extension. And the key on these muscles is landmarking the areas where you need to find it. So we're gonna check rectus capitis posterior major first. And it goes from the spinous of C2 all the way up to the occiput. And it kind of goes at like a 45 degree angle. So what I do first is I find, what I do first is I find that C2 spinous. It's pretty easy to find. And then what I do is I pick up my finger and go just a little bit lateral. Now I know I'm there because I landmarked it. And in order to get the depth that you need on it, a trick that I like to do is I take this bottom leg here and I put my arm right up against it. And then what I do is I slowly drop my body in. And that allows me to get some leverage. It's almost like I'm a fulcrum as I go up through there. So if you're struggling getting onto these muscles, get a little bit of extension and then drop in like that. And you should be able to, when it's done right, to hang out there all day. And it's a really easy contraction and my hands aren't getting tired at all. Now, the next muscle, rectus capitis posterior minor, these muscles are a wreck on pretty much anyone that comes in for a neck problem. The problem is they're really deep and most people can't get to them. So this one takes a little bit more finesse as we go in there. So same thing that I did here, I have my index finger on C2, and then what I do is take my middle finger and that goes on the posterior arch of C1. So now what I'm able to do is take my index finger and replace it on my middle finger there. And what that does is it really opens that area up. Get that extension again, and a little trick here is to get a little bit of slight lateral flexion towards. That gets that semispinalis out of the way and some of that upper trap. Now, what I'm able to do is go just a little bit lateral because it sits right up against that posterior arch. And what I'm able to do is I get some depth by leaning in. And then a little trick I do here is once I'm in there, I pull my finger lateral just a bit and then I get depth again. And when I'm on there, it really opens up that muscle. So essentially what we do is we sink in, then we do a little pull with that finger to pull that semi-spinalis out of the way, and then I get another depth. So it's almost at two leans. I go here, pull, lean again, and then you're able to get in there really deep and really focus on that area. Because these muscles are completely misdiagnosed, mistreated out there because people can't get to it. So using your body as leverage, sinking in, bowing things out of the way, and taking your time can make a big difference in accurately palpating. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video and it really gave you an idea of how to find these muscles. I always say, if you can't find it, you can't fix it. And that is the number one thing that we start with is a tissue specific diagnosis of what's going on with the client. And that's what we train in my method called the peak method. Now, a lot of people out there are stuck just kind of doing what I call shotgun approach for treatment. They just treat a bunch of shit and kind of see what happens. Like the client comes in and they're like, oh, I have neck pain. So you'll go through everything. You'll treat every muscle up there. With my method, what it does first is it first teaches you to start thinking critically. And when you think critically, you start asking the right questions about what's going on. Then you get a better idea of how to fix the problem. And it really narrows it down. I always say normal massage and treatment is like shotgun approach. Let's try a bunch of shit and see what happens. Mine is a sniper approach. You start by actually figuring out what's wrong with the client. You can back it up with palpation. You're able to get in there and get it and you fix it. You're in and out and you become that true solutions provider. So I hope these videos are helping. I'm getting a lot of feedback from people that they really enjoy it and they like getting a glimpse of what's going on with my system and it's really helping them in their own practice and their own business. So if you like the video, give it a comment, like, or share. Any muscles you want me to cover, send them over.